our thing plan is in jeopardy. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's I okay to unding anytime you are, you want to unding, okay? <laughs> So we did a lot of visiting this Chinese New Year, hosted, met friends, also visited our relatives. Not much. Not much. <laughs> Shout outs to the survivors. Uh, this is John's dad and this is John's uncle. These are his children and their offspring. The year of the caterpillar. Hey, good job, good job. Hey, where are you going? Hey, thank you, what's this? Oh my god, it's the Chinese New Year card! Oh. Guys, we're gonna give Ang Pao, y'all don't scam us, huh? we cannot remember. Uh. Blue black one! You want? Yes. What are your thoughts on Chinese New Year? I like it. Okay, but I think over the years, I like it lesser. Because when I was younger, right, my family was very big. My great-grandmother has like nine children. So when I was young, there were a lot of visitings to do. And on the first day, it's always very run now. As the year goes by, just like you Not say. <laughs> yeah. And all of them started uh, to go, and go back to Jesus. Mm. Uh, then, <laughs> you know, on, on the contrary, I feel like it was a bell curve for me, but inverse bell curve. In that young that time, yes, you enjoy Chinese New Year because you are the recipient of a lot of Ang Pao. Then after that, I start to dislike it. And Why? it's for the reason that you like it. In that, because my family members are... I have too many. It's super exhausting. And I don't remember their names. I don't really remember their faces. I don't remember their honorary titles. Lah. Then it was always very stressful. Lah. And then some of them were, were like, oh, you, you never call me. Lah. That kind of thing. It's like, but you know, sometimes it's I like never see you. Or sometimes I'm getting to you, lah, you know? Mm. Then when you hear that, right, you just immediately turn off. So yeah. then I for a while, especially when I first started making money, right? Mm. It's like a, yeah, then I don't need your $4, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> please don't give me this $4 and treat me like shit. I enjoy those banter with my uncle and auntie. Hey, you I have not seen you! But I enjoy, I look forward to the banter. Oh, like, no, I, I know see. that this particular uncle that will always diss me of being fat. You know, I'm trying to think of smart get backs at them yeah, 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 every yeah. year. I say, okay, I challenge you to run on and I always run No, I, I, I tell you the difference between your family and my family. Mm. Is that in your family, right? Your parents of the family tree, right? Are the older few. You all are the eldest grandchildren. You did very well in life. And so your family somewhat respects you the most. So for me, my family came from the not so wealthy side of the family. And my mom, my mother's side of the family is that she's the youngest mm. of the family. And so, and they are very hierarchical. And I'm quite black sheep of my own family in the sense where my sisters were, were very stellar from a young age and all that stuff. So for me, I feel like it's different in the sense where I don't have the platform to, to banter back because they yeah. would think I would. Ah. Yeah, they would think like, oh, your mother never teach you. But mine is, it all reflects back to my parents. And then now, I really appreciate Chinese New Year. Because in the past, a lot of people visit out of obligation. So like, the family tree very big and they don't always get along. Ma. But everybody then needs to go on the first day of Chinese New Year, for example. So when you go on the first day of Chinese New Year, you start meeting people that dare to cause trouble or, you know, mm. a lot of weird stuff uh, in, in, in my family tree. I mean, there are a lot of like really nice people, but they just like don't get along, you know. Now when the grandparents are gone, so the heart is gone, right? Yeah. Whenever and whoever you choose to meet, right, it's because you want to. The person that is hosting, has put together a guest list that is non-obligatory. Mm. You know, it's not like I'm forcing mm. everybody to come in. Yeah. It's more like, hey, I open house today and I want to invite this, 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 this. Mm. And so every single house we go to was a lot of fun. Slowly sinking in the dink life, right? Mm. I'm starting to appreciate these activities that bring the whole family together. We are quite sad that this year is the last year either we go for a kid or don't, but most probably it's not. Up to you. Then, I started thinking about Chinese New Year. I don't know why. As I go to different different houses, it does make me think like, you know those kids, they bite into their parents. And then it's like, eh, next time when I'm 50 years old, I'll be alone at home, you know? It looks like our ding plan is in jeopardy. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's I okay to unding anytime you are, you want to unding, okay? <laughs> like when I see you having so much fun with the kids, I'll be like, wow, you will be a great father, you know? You will be. So I was with a bunch of kids lah, then we in the room, then we just playing music and then they dancing and just making sure they don't hurt themselves, right? Then we just playing and playing and playing. Then I'm like, oh my god, this is actually so fun. If one of them was mine, it would be so fun, right? Yeah. Then as the day wore on, right, then I got a bit tired, man. <laughs> so then when they go home, right, then we clean the house, right? Then I'm like, hey, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, can you imagine if we had kids, right, on that day, we don't just clean our house, eh? Yeah. Like one of, one person clean the house. Yeah. The other person go and get the, the little sh to shower. If they want to shower, 
then maybe you can get the person to quickly go and lie down and take a nap if they want to take a nap so that you can kind of help the other person um, clean up the house yeah. you know then after we clean up the house and then we just play mahjong yeah. <laughs> then I'm like okay 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 okay, <laughs> okay it may seem like we are shitting on we are not we are just like being very sour on. grape yeah, yeah this is our coping mechanism I was just a bit scared at the decision that I made on certain occasions mm. that um that you ought to spend with your family. I mean, but I also think even people with children, like my parents, mm. they also stay up to watch the Chinese New Year on New Year countdown, right? Three, two, one, then they they want to sleep. <laughs> we are all in the living room, we're like, hey, why are you going now? I'm going to sleep. Eh? So hopefully I feel like life will catch up to us. Yeah. And you actually rather be in bed. But having said all that, here's what we don't like about Chinese New Year. I hate having to answer uh, awkward questions to my extended family members. Yes. And I think one question that so far all of them be very nice and have not asked me in the past two years is that where's the baby? Like when are y'all getting pregnant? Mm. And, and a lot of them because they are older right they have not heard about the news that or maybe the things that I've went through. You know then that doesn't bother me eh. But you have family and relative right that watch your stuff and then they come and they oh I saw your house already blah, 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 right? Then after that you say anyway your IVF ready or fail ah? No, but they didn't understand what the procedure was. Okay, I think. Was probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but I don't blame them for that. But I just don't like that they are still harping on the very old mindset. This year, I gonna want. I just jokingly say like, oh, we all know. And they <laughs> just took it. They just took it. And honestly, because I feel they don't care. Mm. Like, they are going to see you the next year and they're going to ask again. They are just making small talk mm. and then they may hurt your feelings in the process. But as far as they are concerned, it's just small talk. They don't care because it's just in the small talk shelf. They just pick a random book and then they like, ah, why no kids? What I don't like about Chinese New Year is having to give ang pao, right, to kids that don't even want to stand up and look at you. They don't wish you Chinese Happy New Year or what, right? They just sit down there and they use their phone and whatnot. Then you have to go and find them. You have to go and find them. I don't mind giving up, okay? I feel like it's our social contribution yeah. to especially we choose to be childless. Thank you very much, people that are producing children for Singapore. When the kid just sit down there, I'll use one. Then you have to go and hunt the world down. You go and find the person and give the person kid. Then the person will act like, huh? Thank you. <laughs> it's not about the money, you know? It's not. It's not about the money. But, Little <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's all about respect. And I remember very clearly, right, that when I was young, I know that the value of money, because I came, I, I don't come from a, mm. a rich family. La. So I know that for the person to give me $4, and the person also not doing very well, because all of us in the same family group, right? I feel like it takes a lot la, like to, for him to remember us to power this ang pao. Mm. So I To withdraw effort. ahead mm. and to pack and pull everything it means we are thinking about you already like weeks and months before we see you. Correct. So I will really at least stand up and just shake their hand. That brings me back to a quote I heard from um, Jordan Peterson, mm. which is that it is the parent's responsibility to make sure that their child is likable. Not just for the sake of yourself, but for the sake of your child also. Mm. That they will get more opportunities, more lift in life, more op more reason for people to want to help and connect them. What I don't like about Chinese New Year is the superstitions that we <laughs> have to follow. We are Catholics, right? Mm. We cannot, we cannot. This is all superstition. <laughs> but you don't do, you feel like, I'm going to gamble this well, year. Right? I broke. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I unlucky just because I sweep the floor? No, but I, I don't get it. There are so many things to follow. There's Li Chun, right? Where, you're, um, you, where you need to deposit money into your account at a specific timing mm. uh, for a different zodiac. Then there is the first day you cannot uh, wash your clothes. And the, the more ridiculous one that I heard recently is you cannot uh, empty the bin. You cannot bring out trash. Now you become, you cannot bathe eh. Yeah, uh, cannot wash hair. Cannot wash hair. Something about um the first day is where the water deity is going to give you something. You shouldn't wash away the luck that you have. Or does a robot vacuum count? Because technically I'm not bringing the dust out of my home. It's going back to the dock and it's still, it will still be stored inside. It does it count? Yeah, because personally I don't care. As Catholics, we are not perfect Catholics either. There are yeah. times we jump us. We are not supposed to have uh, premarital, premarital sex. sex. <laughs> when we sin, and then when we decide that we're going to abide by certain Chinese tradition and do or don't do yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, to I'm me, I feel confident. like we are imperfect to begin with. Uh. So mm. we just kind of do whatever is convenient for us. Mm. But the the superstition next you, next me at the back of my yes. kid. But then you forget about it. One. Like the next day, you don't care. It's just that night you play blackjack, you lose, right? You're like, because I f sweep the floor. What I don't like about Chinese New Year, and this might surprise you, mm. I don't like that the whole festival and the cultural aspect of this right revolves around money. Oh. I feel like we have to plan money, give money, there's a lot of gambling and all the well wishes 
is about hope you get rich. When you low head, everybody is just shouting hua, 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 hua. And, and then even if it's not, if it's like tell tell me me, what we shout? We shout hua. <laughs> what the f? You think it's, you think it's stepping in? It does not make sense. It does not make sense. Maybe at some point in society, that's nice. I feel like ninety nine percent of the wealthy people are, are also just lucky people. Yeah. Right time, right place, right condition. And not everybody can be wealthy and no matter how hard they try. Mm. So I feel like this kind of reinforces that whole life is about money and all that stuff when it's actually a very beautiful occasion where it's the new year and the family come back together and in the past is like, you know, y'all go back to the city and different villages, but we all go back to hometown and then we're gonna meet together for the first time once a year, especially in big countries like China. But all we're talking about is, let's get rich, let's hold Get rich, just get rich. Mm. And I feel like it kind of reinforces the very, very forever won't be happy enough because there is no rich enough person. But I tell you one that is very wholesome one. Hi Raya. They cannot gamble. They cannot drink. They really just get together. Yeah, yeah. And by right, Chinese New Year is supposed to be the same, I feel. Yeah. It's just that over the years, all of us, we start gambling. And, and then, and then it's like us, right? We play Mahjong on no, the I, I, I enjoy the gambling. No, I, also, I, mean, I also, I also, I also enjoy. For, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> But I do feel like the entire thing is about money. Yeah, Which yeah. Which I feel like it reinforces unhappiness because it reminds all of us that, oh, you're not rich yet, you're not rich yet, you're not rich yet. Like, we are hoping to get rich, hoping to get rich. Not, not to say I don't want to get rich. I want to get rich, but not there yet. I want to, but it just, it just feels strange. La. Like, once a year, we meet up, we just shout hot at each other. What the f*** is this? Yeah? What I don't like about Chinese New Year is having to plan all the houses that we are going to visit. Why? Because I feel very pious to you. I think in one of the, one of the episodes, we mentioned that uh, we always struggle to arrange whose house to go first and as much as you know that my grandparent, I still have one living grandparent that we have to go mm. to that house, right? I feel a bit guilty that we are not going to your parents' house first. You are the only son, you ought to go back to your parents' house to celebrate Chinese New Year on the very first day. Yeah. But he will go to my grandfather's house with me and my grandfather's sister's house. Then we will go to his parents' house. I know deep down inside him, he just want to be with his parents as soon as, he's, as he can mm. on the first day. Because he also don't want to make them feel as though they lost a son. They are secondary too. Yeah. To me, uh, it's about the fact that we were together on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then now is Chinese New Year Day 1. Mm. In the morning, mm. my sisters, both their children, will go and visit their in-laws first. Yeah. Following tradition. And then they will meet them later in the evening yeah. or late afternoon. And your family, 20, 30 people already going together at the house. Which means yeah. the elders of those people, right? In the morning at 9am, I got someone knock on the door, give them oranges and tell them sitting in the toilet already. Yeah. But my parents, right, are waiting for her, their children to come. Since I'm morning when they and they wake up at 5 6 a.m. Uh, they from 5 6 a.m. will wait until cool. 1 2 p.m. then their first child show up. Which is me. I don't mind it once again. Mm -hmm. It just feels like I when I when I visit with you, which I have a lot of fun and I love your family, there's already a lot of people there. My, my parents are alone. See how your parents got people visit in the morning. Shout out to my parents' neighbors for visiting them. Next year I want to be in. If we are going to have no kids, right? Every year is a uh, I, I just bleed this money out and then I calculated this year with the gambling, with the uh, unpaused, right? Maybe we bleed about like 2,000, 3,000 plus. Mm. I could go for a good holiday and I feel But you still must see Hong Pao and you think you thought you don't know. Hey, and this see Hong Pao thing, ah, okay, honestly, right? I'm very grateful for all the Hong Pao that people see to my mother last time. <laughs> but, Actually, you, cannot, you, must, pay you no, must pay for one. No, 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 I can't think of it, right? Like, hey, the person never find yet. See, it's much. No, but if it's immediate family, like my mm. niece and nephew, of course I will still give them. Oh, the Chinese, I also will give them. If the friend you never see for so long and, and you're just like, oh, I'm yeah, not yeah. I mean, all right. Lah. I feel like the extraordinary stuff, no. No need. But the people that you would normally meet on China New Year. Give ourselves one year break, lah. at least one year. Lah. Mm, we're going to try. Yeah, so next year. You know, I, I secretly yeah. think and I realized that many of our friends. I think during the festive period, many people are reminded on whether they have family mm. that still care about them or they have friends that treat them like family. Mm. And of course, not everyone is so lucky, you know, to realise that yeah, even if me, me and my family are gone or, or I'm a single parent or my parents have like no longer part of my life, that I will go and pine in to my child to my friend's parents. Mm. And it's normal on 2E or 2C and they will invite you for their reunion dinner. Mm. But I think for many adults our age, right, we realise many of our friends like that. And then mm. this festive period is always a reminder that as much as they have blood family or whatnot, they have friends and whatnot, there's that inner circle element that is missing from life. And 
I feel like many of these people they travel during Chinese New Year. If you have friends that you feel um, are not that close to their family, I wanna urge everyone right to invite them over to your reunion dinner and then be okay if they say no lah, Xiao, I cannot make it lah, I got this, this, this. Because I think even if that person really uncomfortable to go, they will still make up an uh, excuse to say they cannot go, right? But deep down, they will feel very nice that they are invited. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Jump Head Cross. Thank you. We have, um, we have much more exciting episodes coming up. Sorry, uh, this one we never captured enough because we really live in the moment, you know? Yes, we were too busy in the moment gambling. <laughs> and, and we don't take for granted the, uh, the, the following and the love that we've seen so far. Thank you very much. Much, uh, so many of you there come up to us to in real life, you know. Yeah. Uh, it means a lot to us, and we're very grateful. So if you enjoyed this, do um, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think, and uh, subscribe. Bye bye. Bye.